Hello everybody, this is another Hot Wheels Collector video. Today I'm going to be showcasing and reacting to the 2024 Hot Wheels H case. This is another fantastic case from the Hot Wheels team. They've done a great job once again. There's some really nice new cars in here and there also is some new castings here as well. But before we go any further, I must shout out Ministry of Diecast for the following footage. Without him, my video would not be possible at all. So make sure to check out his channel, as well as the original video, and also subscribe to his channel. I'm sure he would greatly appreciate that. You definitely need to check out some of his other videos as well. He posts some great content over there. And yeah, his original video is in a slightly different format to mine. So he just goes through the cards in a random order, the order that they are put into the box by Mattel. Whereas I will be going through the cars, first of all, taking a look at everything new for this case, and then we'll take a look at everything that is returning from the previous case, giving you a second chance to find all of those cars. But yeah, I suppose that's enough of me just rambling on. Let's get straight into this showcase and reaction then. Firstly, let's take a look at everything new for this case. So the first new car for this case is the wheelie chair. This is a fantasy casting which I'm personally not interested in, but I can admit the colour scheme is pretty cool here. So this thing has been painted in glossy black, it does receive side and rear tamper work, and this car is rolling on the Phil Realman wheels, which have been done in black, with a nice chrome gold lip to them. As I've said, the colour scheme is pretty nice here, but the casting does not interest me at all, and I won't be adding this to my collection. Next up, we have another fantasy casting. This is the Hot Wheels Braille Racer, the Twin Mill. Now, this is a car for the blind. Really nice to see the blind getting a car. Really, really cool. Great job there from the Hot Wheels team. This thing has been painted in this lovely, in my opinion at least, matte green colour. It does receive top tamper work, and this thing is rolling on the Aerodisc wheels, which have been moulded in grey plastic and then have been painted in black. I won't be picking this thing up personally, but I do think it is still pretty cool. Next up, we do have a not so cool one in my opinion. This is the Road Bandit, and it's just not for me at all. This thing does receive side tamper work, appears to have been painted in a metallic green colour, and this thing is rolling on the Ryu Asada wheels. These are six spoke wheels by Ryu Asada, and these have been painted in chrome green. Yeah, I just don't really like this thing if I'm totally honest. Next up, we have another fantasy casting, unfortunately. This is the Rockin' Railer, another one which really doesn't interest me that much. It does receive side tamper work, though. It has been painted in what appears to be slightly metallic red. I do like the colour on that a lot. That colour is really nice. And this thing is rolling on the five spoke wheels, which have been painted in chrome gold. Those wheels also aren't too bad, but the casting doesn't really please me at all, and I'm not really that interested. Next up, we have the first licensed casting for this case. This is the 76 Greenwood Corvette. This thing does receive side and top tamper work, has been painted in metallic grey or a silverish colour. And this thing is rolling on the five spoke muscle wheels, which have been painted in black with a nice chrome orange lip to them. This is a really nice recolor of this casting and I'm definitely going to be hunting this down for my personal collection. Really, really nice release. Next up, we have the first brand new casting of this case. This is the Porsche 904 Carrera GTS. Really, really good new casting. I definitely want this for my collection. Just looks stunning. This thing does receive side and top tamper work, has been painted in this matte finished silver. And this thing is rolling on the steely wheels, which have been done in black, with a lovely chrome lip to them. Really, really solid release of this brand new casting. Can't wait to see where it pops up next. And the next new casting for this case is the Mazda RX-3. We do already have the standard version of the RX-3 in the Hot Wheels lineup, but this tuned version is brand new for 2024. This thing does receive side and front tamper work, has been painted in glossy orange, and this thing is rolling on the five spoke muscle wheels, which have been done in black. Fantastic new casting, and the tamper work and colour scheme here is beautiful. I'm definitely interested in this thing, and definitely want it for my collection. Great job from the Hot Wheels team there. 
Next up, we do have the Hot Wheeler. This is another fantasy casting, unfortunately, and I'm not interested at all. This thing does receive side tamper work. It is rolling on the five spoke wheels, which have been painted in chrome gold. And this thing has been done in a mixture of glossy reds and also uh, some of this weird orangey color on the front. Yeah, I'm not interested at all, personally. Next up we do have the West Coast Flyer, another one which I'm not interested in. It does receive side and top tamper work, has been painted in this whitish cream colour, it's slightly off-white I think. And this thing is rolling on the steely wheels which have been moulded in grey plastic. Those wheels look really odd in grey in my opinion. Oh and those wheels have got a nice black lip to them, yeah I'm going to pass this one up too. Next up we have a really cool one though, this is the 64 Chevy Chevelle SS, painted in glossy red, it does receive top and side tamper work, the tamper work here is fantastic, looks really good, and this car is rolling on the 5 spoke muscle wheels, which have been painted in black, with a lovely chrome lip to them, awesome release of this casting, can't wait to find this in the wild and add it to my collection. Next up we have the 15 Mazda MX-5 Miata, this is another one which JDM fans will be pretty pleased with I think. This thing does receive side and top tamper work, has been painted in what appears to be just glossy orange, quite a neon orange colour though, very bright, at least from this video it looks very bright. And this thing is rolling on the 10 spoke wheels which have been painted in grey. I'm not sure if I'll pick this thing up since I really don't like the colour orange, it's my least favourite colour, but still a pretty cool release of that casting. And next up we have the Corvette C6, done in this glossy yellowish orange colour, it's kind of in between yellow and orange at least to my eyes. This thing is rolling on the 10 spoke Y design wheels which have been painted in yellow and this thing does have side and top tamper work. Again I'm not going to pick this up for my collection, I just don't really like the look of this thing but still a pretty alright release of this casting. Next up we do have a fantasy casting here, this is the proper chopper, really cool name on that. This thing does have some side tamper work and that is it. It has been done in this glossy yellowish colour, it's kind of that same yellowish orange colour we just saw on the previous Corvette. And this thing does not have any wheels, so yeah, no wheels to talk about there. Yeah, I'm not going to be adding this to my collection personally. Next up we do have the Batman Arkham Knight. Batmobile. Now this is another one which I'm personally not going to add to my collection. It does receive top tamper work, has been painted in what appears to be matte black and this thing is rolling on the off-road six spoke wheels which have been done in black with a nice grey lip to them. Next up we do have the GMC Hummer EV, this is a pretty nice recolor of this casting, big fan of this purplish colour on it, I think it looks really cool. So this thing does receive front and rear tamper work, has been painted in this what appears to be slightly metallic purple colour, as I've said I think that's a really cool colour. And this thing is rolling on the off-road beadlock wheels which have been done completely in black. Those wheels look very good, completely blacked out. Pretty good release of this casting, in my opinion at least. Next up we do have the Group C Fantasy. Now the previous blue release of this casting was really nice. But this one not so much in my opinion. This thing does receive side and top tamper work, has been painted in this weird almost turquoise colour which is just glossy or at least it looks just glossy. And this thing is rolling on mismatch aero disc wheels so in the front they are completely chrome orange and in the rear they are black with a chrome orange lip to them. As I've said I'm not really that interested in that car. Next up we have the 87 Dodge D100, this is licensed but again I'm not really interested in this recolour of this casting, it does receive side and top tamper work, has been painted in this very light glossy blue colour which I'm not a big fan of at all, and this thing is rolling on the 5 spoke off road wheels which have been painted in grey, yeah I'm probably not going to pick that up for my collection. Next up we do have the 07 Chevy Tahoe. I'm probably going to pass this one up as well if I'm honest. It has been done in white, now it hasn't been painted in white because this thing does have a plastic body to it, 
making it a little bit more cheap and that's one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of this casting and won't be picking it up. It does receive side temple work, no other temple work there and is rolling on the Phil Realman wheels which have been done in black with a chrome red lip to them. Next up we do have the Roland Solid, this is just a fantasy casting I'm not really interested in at all. This thing does receive top temple work, has been painted in what appears to be glossy purple and this thing is rolling on the Rio Asada 6 spoke wheels which have been painted in chrome blue, quite a light chrome blue colour on those. Next up we do have a really nice one though, this is the 63 Studebreaker Champ, I'm really going to be searching for this thing because I think it looks stunning. This thing does receive side and front temple work, has been painted in this lovely dark metallic red colour, stunning colour on that thing, I think it looks so good on that casting. And this thing is rolling on the Aerodisc wheels which have been painted completely in chrome. What a great release of this casting, I think it looks stunning and I'm definitely interested in adding this to my collection. Next up we do have the 57 Jeep FC, I do like this casting a lot, my favourite version is still the original blue one because I don't really like this red version at all if I'm honest. This thing does receive side and front temple work, it does appear to be painted in matte um, red and honestly I'm not a big fan of that colour, I think it highlights the lack of detail on the front in terms of temple work and this thing is rolling on the five spoke off-road wheels which have been painted in white. Hard pass from me on that version of that casting, cool casting but the recolour doesn't really do it justice in my opinion. Next up we have the Donut Drifter, it does receive top temple work, has been painted in quite a few different colours, I say painted, it hasn't been painted, it's just different coloured plastics. And this thing is rolling on the Aerodisc wheels which have been painted in white and have been moulded in this brownish colour. I'm not interested in that thing at all. Next up we do have the Glory Chaser, another fantasy car, but this is actually pretty cool looking. This thing does receive side and top temple work. It has been painted in this glossy grey colour which looks very nice on this casting. And this thing is rolling on the five spoke wheels which have been painted in light chrome blue. Really nice release of this casting, I don't think it looks too bad at all. Next up we do have one which I'm not interested in at all, I think it looks pretty silly. This is the Hot Wheels Ultimate, Ultimate T-Rex Transporter. This thing has been moulded in red plastic. It uh, doesn't appear to have any temple work, oh yes it does, it has side temple work, not very much though. And this thing is rolling on the fan 5 spoke wheels which have been moulded in orange, not a big fan at all. This speed dozer is also pretty, yeah, not very good in my opinion. It does receive top temple work, has been painted in this metallic green colour which is actually pretty cool, I like that colour a lot. And this thing is rolling on the off-road six spoke wheels in the back which have been painted in black and moulded in brown. And on the front this thing is rolling on the same wheels but just a lot smaller. Next up we have the Purple Passion, this is the treasure hunt for this case, but it is a fantasy casting. Uh, it kind of looks like the Hyrule Hattia Merc, which is a brand new casting for 2024, a licensed one. So yeah, pretty similar looking to that in my opinion. This thing does receive its side and top temple work, has been painted in what appears to be a matte blue, that blue colour is very nice, and this thing is rolling on the Aerodisc wheels which have been painted in chrome, and these wheels have been moulded in what appears to be quite a dark blue plastic there. So yeah, overall not too bad of a treasure hunt, but I personally probably won't pick this thing up. It's just not really what I collect, it's a fantasy casting for one, and two, it's a little bit funky looking, I'm not a big fan of the art cars stuff, because they always have giant letters on them, and that kind of puts me off the design. I know the art cars do spell something when you collect the whole set of a specific year, but still, I think it kind of ruins the design sometimes, and this is one of those cases in my opinion. Next up we do have the McLaren Solus GT, a pretty cool casting, this recolour isn't really for me because as I've said I'm not a big fan of the colour orange. This thing does receive side and top temple work, has been painted in what appears to be just a glossy orange, I think it's the exact same colour as the MX-5 we've just seen, very neon orange colour there. And this thing is rolling on the 10 spoke wheels which have been painted in grey. Next up we do have the regular version of the Super Treasure Hunt for this case. 
This is the Volvo P1800 Gasser. Again, a really nice casting, but I'm not a big fan at all of this recolor. I think this recolor is pretty poor, in my opinion, at least. Yeah, not a big fan. It does receive side and front tamper work. Has been painted in this very bright, glossy blue color. It's kind of dark, sort of dark. It's kind of just an average blue. And I just don't like this colour at all. It makes it look like plastic in my opinion. It's like a blue plastic colour. That's really the best way to describe it. I'm not a fan of that colour at all. And this thing is rolling on the five spoke wheels which have been painted in grey. Yeah, I'm going to be passing that version up. I much prefer the green and the red versions we've had in the past. And finally we do have the King Cuda. This is a fantasy casting to finish off this case. This thing does receive top and side tamper work, has been painted in glossy white, and this thing is rolling on the five spoke wheels, which have been painted in a chrome red color. I'm probably gonna pass this thing up as well, but it does look pretty cool. I must admit the tamper work is pretty cool. It's one of the few art cars designs which I actually like. Next, let's take a look at everything returning to this case from the previous case. This gives you a second chance to find all of the following cars. The first returning car from the previous case is the Humvee. I'm quite a big fan of this recolor, however it is a shame that this car does have a plastic body. It would have been nice to have seen a metal body on this thing, but yeah, that is what we got. Next we have the Audi 90 Quattro, a pretty good release of this casting. I'm a big fan of this casting, so this recolor is probably going to make its way to my collection. Next we have the Heavy Hitcher, I'm not interested in this thing at all unfortunately. Next up we have the Dragon Blaster, again this is just another one which I'm not really that interested in. Next up we have the Fiat 500e. I don't mind this casting at all, but I'm not a big fan of this recolor at all. Not a big fan of this colour on it. Next up we have the Ford F-150 Lightning Custom. A really cool casting and I think this recolor is pretty cool too. Next up we have the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. Really nice recolor of this casting. Next up we have the Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7, again this is a pretty good recolor of this casting, I'll probably pick this thing up. Next up we have the Volkswagen T2 pickup, again really solid release of this casting. And next up we have the El Segundo Coupe, I probably won't pick this thing up for my collection but I don't think it looks too bad at all. Next up we have a really nice one, this is the 19 Ford Ranger Raptor, love the colour on this thing and the livery is awesome. Next up we have the Rapid Pulse, really nice one here, even though it is a fantasy, I really like the colour scheme going on here. Next up we have the 72 Stingray Convertible, a pretty decent recolour of this casting. And next up we have the HW 450F, I'm not interested in this thing at all. Next up we have the Nissan Skyline RS KDR30, also known as the R30. This thing is a pretty decent recolor. Next up we have the Hyro Hattia Merc. I previously mentioned this thing because I think the treasure hunt for this case is very similar looking to this, but yeah, pretty good new casting. Next up we have the 68 Dodge Dart. I love the drag racer look this car is going for. The livery really looks cool on this casting. Next up we have the BMW M3 wagon, really good new casting for this year, and the tampo work is really good too. Next up we have the minecart, this is not too bad looking, I really like the colour scheme. Next up we have the Jaguar Mark 1, again a really nice new casting for this year, definitely interested in this thing. And next up we have the Honda Civic Si, really good recolour of this casting, it's definitely going to be a popular one. And the final car for this case is the 52 Chevy. This is a really nice recolor of an already pretty good looking casting. But there you go, that is it for the 2024 H case. A pretty decent case, it's not the best we've seen if I'm totally honest. A lot of returning stuff and also there's a lot of kind of meh recolors in my opinion, which I'm not really that interested in, but overall there is quite a nice selection here. The new castings are phenomenal, can't wait to add them to my collection. But now it is time for my overall ranking for this case, so what is my third, second and first place? So in third place for me is going to be the 63 Studebaker Champ. 
really nice casting and I really like this colour scheme it is going for with this release. Looks fantastic in my opinion, can't wait to pick this thing up. In second place for me, it is going to be the brand new Mazda RX3 casting. This is a really nice new casting. Again, I can't wait to pick this thing up. It's one of the few cars which I actually think orange looks really good on. That thing pops. And finally, first place for me is going to be the brand new Porsche 904 Carrera GTS casting. That thing is absolutely beautiful. I love that thing a lot and definitely will be hunting that thing down too. I love the racing look that thing is going for. The silver colour looks fantastic on that casting. What a great way to first debut that as a brand new casting for 2024. But there you go, that is my ranking. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments section down below. I love reading your comments and your thoughts on these new cases and I do read all the comments so please, please, please do leave your comments, your thoughts and anything else you want to talk about in the comments because I will be responding and reading all of your comments. But now it is time for my overall score for this case. So what am I going to give this case out of 10? It is going to be getting quite a low score for me. This case is going to be getting a 6 out of 10 for me. Yeah, there's just a lot of not great stuff for me. I'm not a big fan of the colour orange that does write out quite a few cars. I'm not a big fan of that yellow colour on the Corvette with those yellow wheels. Kind of looks a bit funky to me. And there's quite a lot of fantasy stuff. Also not a big fan of that Volvo P1800 recolour. Not a fan of that blue colour on that thing. But yeah, there's some really nice stuff here, don't get me wrong, but there's also quite a lot of stuff here which I'm just like, yeah, I'm not really that interested if I'm totally honest. But yeah, that's really it for this video. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Remember, you can also press that notification bell so you do not see new uploads. Remember, you can also share this video with any friends, family, or any groups who may be interested. But remember, don't feel pressured to if you don't feel like you have anybody who may be interested. You watching this video all the way to the end means so much to me. And I really do thank you for making it all the way up until this point. But anyways, that is it for this video, so I hope you guys did enjoy, and I really, really, really do hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.